In today's world, we face threats, multiple threats. threats multiplied, but because of our interconnected world, they spread faster and wider than ever before. Together, they threaten the core of our human security. But these threats cannot be seen or solved in isolation. We need to work together to overcome these threats. The human security approach offers a complete response to these complex threats. It protects and empowers vulnerable communities. It addresses the full range of threats faced by communities at risk. As a result, it brings meaningful change to people's lives. That's why human security programs are designed through partnerships. And together, we create an environment where people can live their lives free from want, free from fear, free to live in dignity. The beauty and uniqueness of the Northern Igali Auto Recovery Program was that we had different UN agencies doing different but complementary activities. People are very busy in their gardens, planting crops, health facilities, good roads, you know, people can access easily the schools. You see children happy going to school. We are targeting resettling people who were previously affected by the LRA war. Uh, those infrastructure activities were reinforced by environmental activities. That again was reinforced by health care related activities under World Health. This is part of the infrastructure that WFP is trying to develop for the returnees under the UN Trust Fund project. The store is supposed to help them uh, do collective marketing. When they bulk and sell at a later time, they're able to fetch higher prices than when they sell during the harvest uh, season. Villain serving, a bin a no coin at the toilet on a retiani and a copy put at the year. And no can a coin, maybe you cap on a more tier. Come to me one or two guinea. I don't know a cat at your ball. You talk and it was school. Having worked on this very project, and specifically through the UN Trust Fund for Human Security Projects that involve bringing together a number of UN agencies and also the government staff, and where we really touched the lives of the people. Seeing people move and drive on this road and the children walk to school makes you feel proud because you've really touched the lives of the people, uh, not for now, even for many years to come.